bodies. There are options for fake fur that are available. I think maybe on the part of a lot of designers, it would be great for a lot of designers to kind of step up to the plate like Mark Bauer. I was totally blown away and inspired by seeing the imagination and uh, originality of these incredible designs. Uh, I think it's very important to educate students and young designers because I think a lot of students fall in love with the idea of using fur and leather um, and don't realize the technology is there. You can have the look and the feel of fur and leather without the cruelty. Worldwide, 40 million animals are killed for the fur trade every year. This is just unconscionable in this day and age. There's absolutely no argument for fur. People don't need it to survive, they don't need it to stay warm. It is cruelty for the sake of profit, cruelty for the sake of vanity. Well, there are so many leather-like fabrics. I mean, there's leather, there's stretch suede, there's stretch leather, there's so many different uh, variations of, of leather. It's almost impossible now, um, even close up to tell the difference. It's, the technology is just incredible. I just think that wearing real fur is such a vulgar expression of personal style. And we as designers, you know, we have a responsibility to show people what to wear and what not to wear. Personally, I, if I were to put on a, a fur coat, I wouldn't have a very good conscience about that. Make fur look as good as real fur, so why not use it, you know? and save the animal. Let me make you look fabulous. That's my thing, fabulous, honey. You can be fabulous and fabulous at the same time.